and Warby Parker teaming up to develop smart glasses powered by AI. Google made the announcement at its I.O. conference earlier this week, showcasing a demo of the technology. The announcement sending shares of Warby Parker up 16 percent. So congratulations, gentlemen, this morning. Join us right now, first on CNBC, here at the table, Warby Parker's co-founders and co-CEOs, Neil Blumenthal and Dave Gaboa. Good morning to both of you. You're wearing glasses, but you're not wearing the glasses. Yes, yeah, so these are uh, yeah, our traditional styles, but uh, what gets us really excited is that um, our teams have been working uh, hand in glove with the, the teams at Google to build some really mind-blowing products that um, look pretty similar to this that aren't um, uh, in a much bigger form So factor. folks have been trying to do this for a long time. By the way, Google originally with Google Glass. That was the sort of original uh, of doing this. Then you saw more recently Meta come in, make the uh, partnership with um, uh, Ray-Ban. What are we actually going to see in these glasses? Like when we actually are wearing them, what, what's going to happen? They're going to be transformative to, to our lives. Imagine traveling and every single sign that's in another language is immediately translated um, or you're speaking to somebody and in real time it's translating for you or being in a hotel um, with a coffee maker that you don't know how to use and uh, you look at it and it provides stepwide in, instructions so that way you can quickly make yourself right. a, a cup of coffee. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's mind-blowing what this, these AIs can, can do now. Okay, so the service I want, just to put it out there, and I know people privacy-wise will freak out, <laughs> I want to be able to go to a, uh, an event or a party or a this and or that. And know exactly who somebody is. Yeah. And I want it to... I, it's like, so I was, it's like the devil wears Prada. You want I want somebody right. who's tapping me on the shoulder <laughs> saying, that's Dave, right? <laughs> that's what you want. Is that ever going to come? So... Uh, the Technology will enable that. Right. Um, there uh, are obviously some big privacy implications, and so um, you know, at large events, uh, there there might be an option to opt right. in uh, to enable that that type of technology. But the um, you know the magic of, of glasses is that uh, they know uh, what you're looking at, they understand what you're hearing, so they can provide real time context into that's what you're Dave looking at. That's with a last name, and it's pronounced. Right. But that's that's what you want. <laughs> but the other thing you want is almost like a teleprompter for your life. That's yeah. what we're really talking about. Well, this is why partnering with Google is, uh, we're so excited about it. I mean, if you think about um, Google's products, they have nine products that reach over a billion people each, um, right, from maps to search to Gmail and, and workplace, um, right? The, these AIs are going to be able to sort of leverage all of the infrastructure, right, that, when? that Google I mean, has you guys built. didn't bring the glasses because they're not, like, ready to be shown off and, and done with yet how, how far away how before it can do all the things you just said which would be pretty cool yeah so we're working as quickly as possible to, to launch these things it, w it won't be this year unfortunately so I've played with the other meta glasses which are they've only shown in prototype that are super expensive I mean they're, those glasses I think are almost costing them somewhere between five and ten grand a pop to, to make so what kind of price point? And those, those glasses are the ones, you know what I'm talking about, yeah, yeah. that put every, almost anything in them. You wear the band on your wrist, so it's all, it's all connected. What do you think the price point for this would ultimately look like? Yeah, so um, we, we plan to introduce uh, our, our products at Intelligent Eyewear that offer uh, just the, the same great value that people are, are used to um, uh, getting from, from Warby Parker and... and um, they'll come with uh, prescription lenses right. and, and all sorts of well, Right options. now, you can buy a pair of, uh, of glasses for 100 to 200 bucks a pair, right? So there'll be more than that. Um, but are we but talking 500, 1,000? I only ask because Apple obviously introduced, I mean, not these kind of glasses, but introduced um, its, its sort of eyewear product, at, which isn't really an eyewear product at all, but at, at $3,000, which is sort of beyond right. the, the reach of most people. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our goal is to make these accessible um, for... Uh, the vast majority of consumers and to offer really tremendous value for the, the utility that, uh, that wearers will get. What happens to all of the old glasses, you think? I mean, do you think we'll have this, like, there'll be this tipping point where you'll only want these kind of glasses for everything? Um, we think once people start to use it and see the utility, um, it, it's going to be hard to, to not use them. But um, like anything, it's going to, the adoption curve, it, it's going to take a while. Um, and uh, that's why I sort of we're being right. thoughtful and, and deliberate here. And how are we going to make beautiful glasses that people want to wear that's priced uh, uh, appropriately? Right.